What's brown and sticky? A stick, of course. Yes, that's an absolutely awful joke. And you didn't come to my channel to listen to awful jokes. You came here to find yourself a lovely Town Hall 12 Legend League and Warbase. And here it is for you guys. It's an anti-ghost base, apparently. Those pesky royal ghosts are around at the moment, smashing things up. They've got no respect for your bases. Take three stars, leave it in ruins. Nasty ghost. So yeah, this is apparently an anti-ghost base. I've been using it in the Legend League for two days and its performance has been fantastic. Quick thank you to Johnny Clash Gaming. That's another YouTube channel. He suggested I review this base and apparently the original designer was Vertang base design so thank you to both of those guys so in a moment we're going to check out some legend league replays where you can see this base in action see if it's any good if you are impressed and you do want to try it yourself it's easy head on over to the video description click on that base there link and kaboom royal ghost no yes and the base will appear on your device just like that guys if you do want to see the latest and greatest base designs reviews and clash of clans guys hit that subscribe button and join the sir moose army before we watch the replays just a quick shout out to clash of clans layout sharing on facebook they're a fantastic group with nearly ten thousand members where you can get loads of brilliant base designs it's fantastic so do check that out it's in my video description so let's go and check out some replays and see if this base is any good so here's my Legend League defense log for the base. Ignore the top two defenses. That's from a different base that I've just started to use. We'll be reviewing that in a couple of days. So it's the 16 attacks downwards from here. So like I said, 16 attacks over a two-day period in the Legend League. Of those 16 attacks, guys, nine were one-star attacks and seven were two-star attacks. That is absolutely fantastic. And when we're scrolling through, have a look at the troop combinations. You can see that we've had quite a few royal ghost attacks. Beautiful. So this base, it does really look like it is an anti-royal ghost base. Absolutely brilliant. So we're going to jump into this first replay here. A mass royal ghost attack. 33 royal ghosts, one star, 67%. Let's go and watch this one now. And in we go to the first defence for the base against Buzzard. Mass Royal Ghost, one Ice Golem and some Bat Spell. So yeah, this is a tricky base, Centralised Town Hall. But it's got these straight edges, so I didn't think it would do too well in the Legend League. But guys, this is probably the best performing base I've ever had in the Legend League. Awesome. Remember, disclaimer though, I can only go with the performance I get. So I do hope you get the same performance out of this base. So those Royal Ghosts sneaking their way into the base... Very sneaky. I do hope Supercell introduces a new funneling troop. Not quite as overpowered as these guys, but something similar. Because they are really good. And a lot of us guys, like me, suffer with funneling. It is a nightmare. I wake up in the night in cold sweats thinking about funneling. Shouting out, funneling, funneling, like that. Because it scares me. No, seriously. Uh, yeah, it is quite daunting to funnel. But yeah... Not much action going on really at the beginning is there. We're just watching these ghosts stroll in, hack away, take out. Ah, have that, yes. Chucked out the arena, flying away, love it. So the ghosts have cleared that section there. Uh, by the way, it's a good time for me to mention I do have a royal ghost video, a mass royal ghost video out if you want to check it out. I think it's a really good strategy, but I would say that, wouldn't I? Yes. So look, that whole base is cleared, uh, that section down there. Some more Royal Ghosts, Evil Santas I like to call them. Yes, have that. Bomb to the face, lovely. Out come my CC troops, new little CC troop combo I've got there. Two witches, a nice goal, and an archer I believe. And it really is quite nasty. Sent in the slammer there. That's interesting because the attacker needs to get his heroes to the centre there to take down the town hall otherwise the bat spells are not going to work so this could be a grave error by our attacker because those heroes are just going to wander around the base now in come the bats but we've just hit 50 percent look who's coming up now say hi yes it's the giggle tesla lovely and the gig tesla is smashing everything now good night no bats no it's not going to work you're all going to die and this attack is in ruins. All those bats. No, there's still some left. There's still one left. Gone. Yep, my queen. And the enemy queen is there. So there could have been a chance to get in the town hall down now. Um, 
but those scales are hampering her. She's getting Giga Tezzed. Oh, what a beautiful clan castle troop. The witch is absolutely brilliant. But yeah, sorry, got sidetracked there. Bit of a fight going on down there. The three heroes are still alive, barely. The witch is... The witch? The uh, queen is down. Grand Warden. Good night. Yes. Beautiful. There we go. Let's just fast forward. Oh, no, we don't even need to fast forward. There's only a second left, so there we go. Yeah. Good defence from the base. Let's go check out another replay. Loads of one-star attacks to choose from. What should we go for here? 82%. There's an oh there's a there's the best attack from Royal Ghost. We will check that out in a minute. We've got an air attack. Let's go watch an air attack against the base, yes. So I do like this base, guys. It looks nice, it's well constructed. Um you've got the CC troops one end, you've got the Eagle Artillery the other, with a couple of wizard towers. Nicely placed multi infernos. Yeah, quite a lot of thought has gone into this base. I do like it. It's segregated all the defences nicely. Look at, if you just tuned in the channel, you think, this guy knows what he's on about. Maybe I do, a little bit. So yeah, a bit of a funnel there. E-drag, E-drag, sending in the wrecker. So I assume the, the heroes are going to go in after that wrecker. That's what I'd do. Now it's a bit of a mass spam attack now. All the E-drags are down. That wrecker's punching its way through. Grand Wardens will, with, with them, uh... King and Queen, where are you? You're not, you're not deployed yet, I don't think. Sorry, guys, a bit of action going on. I can't really see that air sweeper pushing the troops back. Quite magnificent there. And, uh, yeah, they're all going to ignore the town hall because that's what they do. That's what they do. If you don't funnel right, look at that. Nobody's gone to that town hall. We're only on 44%. That E-drag isn't even facing the battle. It's so confused. It's like, no, I'm turning my back on the town hall. I'm going to go drink some, drink me some elixir. Yes. Grand Warden getting some rockets to the face there and some expos to the temple. It's not looking good for him. It is not looking good at all. Oh, he's down. He is down. In come the king and queen. Where have you been? They've been at a party all night. They've just woken up bit late to the battle I think so they're not going to do much damage down there are they so if you mess around with this base and don't get your fun all right then you're going to be punished and look that just look there the radius of that town hall it's just perfect that if anybody gets stuck in that inner compartment they are going to get gig tested to death beautiful I'm loving this base it's really good I mean, yes, anti-royal ghost base. You know, that's what I put in the title. But this is an anti-sort of uh, any base, really. I do, re you know, fantastic, fantastic. You have to excuse my squeaky chair, guys. Uh, I've noticed it's been squeaking quite a lot on my videos recently. So I'm going to have to get some oil. Listen. Yeah, squeak level 10. I'm going to have to get some oil for that, aren't I? Uh, anyway... Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Just uh, got a bit sidetracked there. Let's go back and watch another video. So what else we got? 99% uh, two-star. We're going to have to watch that, aren't we, in a minute. Let's watch another one. I'm enjoying these replays. 44% one-star. Oh, dear. That does not look good. Let's watch it, though. Yeah, that's what we're here for. Three balloons, one wizard, three minions, 15 witches. Guys, I've just remembered if you're still watching as well, I've just released a, t a new video called the Top 5 Town Hall 12 Attack Strategies. It's brilliant. Honestly, it is. It's got some really good strategies. So if you are struggling, check that out. Nice and simple. And I walk through how to use all the strats. So look at that. Ice goals in. Mass witches. All of those witches. A haggle of witches. That's what they're called, you know. Yeah. So Moose is, uh, does know his stuff a bit. In goes that record. Oh dear, the Queen has been in first. Oh, she is down. The Queen is down already. That's a shame. She got infernoed. The wreck is doing a bit of a dance. Look at it go. Wee lovely. In come those bats. They're spreading out everywhere. It's all going horribly wrong for Spartiat. Really badly. I've had attacks like this, guys. 
you know, uh, re- no, oh, which is flying in the air there. I have had lots of uh, one star attacks, so I don't want to think anybody thinks I'm uh, having a go at any uh, attackers against the base because I know what it's like. Everybody has an off day sometimes, but they got the town hall down. That's the main thing, I guess, at this point to try and salvage one star, and that's it. That is it. One uh, wizard left, two minions, and the king ability. That Grand Warden thinks he's the Terminator. He's getting expo to the back. Isn't even noticing the pain until it's too late. Then the king's battling away. My Skeleton King's going, Oi, this is private property. Get off. Get. Oh, he's hitting him with his hand. I haven't noticed that before. He was actually hitting him with his hand. Okay. Doesn't even need the sword. Add insult to injury. I think that's it. Nine seconds left. We've got a minion over there. Boom. Took a rocket to the face. And down he goes. Somebody else was... Yes, too late. So, yeah. I enjoyed that, guys. That was good. Let's go watch the best attack against the base. No three-star attacks, but we did have a 99% two-star. Yes. Let's... Uh, Let's watch that, shall we? Um, yeah. Sorry, I just saw a name I thought I recognised there. So, yeah, I'm in. You got 99%. Bit of a strange attack strat. There's six healers, one pecker, two witches, 22 bowlers. Nice. I like it when the attack strategies are a bit different. So, I find with centralised town hall bases, it's really awkward to do a queen walk. Because you can either queen walk around the outside, and it's kind of okay until you run into a multi-inferno or an air defense. But then if you do go inside a layer or two, you get your queen gets absolutely demolished. So, yeah, it's really tricky. Let's see what's going on then. So there's a bo- couple of bowlers there. Look, one there, one there. Sending in a healer with a bowler there. It didn't work. The bowler died. I've seen this strategy before, actually. It's quite an expensive way to make a funnel, though. But I guess those healers stay with your boulders then for the attack, which is good. So yeah, that's a nice funnel. Funnel level 10 there. I'm impressed with that. But the wreck has been infernoed by my single target inferno. Nearly taken down, but the Grand Warden ability was pressed, which allowed the wrecker to move on in. And now it's running over some skeletons. How rude. Broken into that middle compartment. That's okay. The king's on the town hall. Out comes my double witch... Ice Skull Archer combo. Where's my Archer? That's who I'm worried about. She... Oh, no. I think she's died. She's got, she's got to have... No, she's still there. She is still there. I No, she got a boulder. Oh, dear. Oh, I've got a notification. That was a notification telling me the Archer is dead. Yes, she took a boulder. Oh, dear. But anyway, pushing through there. Still a single bowler over there with two healers. That's not what you want to see. Oh, it's all going wrong, guys. I accidentally pressed the top of the screen on my phone and uh, brought it down. I'm not going to edit that out. Uh, Sorry about that. So, yeah, keep on going here. This is uh, looking okay. So we get 99%. It must be a time fail, I think. The queen's there. She's going to break through that wall in a moment. So, yeah, this is a good attack. I like the funnel at the beginning. Bit of, like I said, a bit of an expensive funnel. You've got to think of your funnel in terms of housing space, and it took a few boulders and a couple of healers. So, what's that? That's about um, 50 housing space already. So, that's what? E dragon a half? If you want to, if you could cut an E dragon half. I don't know. I haven't thought about that, but I just did. So, let's fast forward this a little bit now. Look at those guys. Fast forward. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Through they go. Are they going to run out of time? Yes, because they've got enough troops to clear the base. So they're going to run out of time. And look how close that was. Unlucky. So yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the replays. If you're still here and you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and join the Samus army. Yes. So I'm really impressed by this base. I really like it. Like the look of it. Love the look of it, in fact. Uh, Anti-ghost base, yeah. But I think it's an anti-everything base, as you can see. 16 attacks, 9 one-star attacks, 7 
two star and I'm qu I'm not high up in the legend league but I'm higher than than usual 5400 go away notifications can't you see I'm in the middle of a video yeah so I'm really impressed with this base very impressed I hope you try it and I hope you get the same sort of results as I do I wouldn't probably change anything around I think it's very well designed excellent layout so again thank you to Johnny Clash Gaming and uh, I think it was Vertang Base Designs who designed it excellent work so today Sir Moose based on its performance and its awesomeness looking wise Sir Moose is going to be giving this base 9 out of 10 I love this base this base is a keeper let me know how you get on with it let me know if you like it guys and as always Put, uh, put your comments in the video comments and uh, let me know what you think and I will reply to each and every one of you if I can. Also, if you've got any bases you'd like me to review or check out for you, put the video, uh, the base link in there and I'll try my best to do that. All right, guys, I'm not trapped behind this uh, end screen now, but I hope you like my new end screen. Have a look at the little videos there. Yeah, do you like it? Hit that subscribe button. See you later.